Okay, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how AdWords bidding works, what you need to know to be successful, and what you need to know to just crush your competition and not get crushed by Google. All right, so in this video, I'm going to go through AdWords bidding and how it works. As I stated before, I just got to warn you guys right now, this is not going to be advanced tactic like tactical stuff. This is just high level, so you kind of get a feel for what's going on and what just how to be safe from being crushed. Okay, so go into your AdWords account, choose the account you want to be in. For this example, we're going to be in the one we're always in, which is XYZ Roofers, our example campaign. What you're going to do is you come up here to overview, you should see your whole campaign, what's going on. Go to settings, bidding. You can see we have an auto bid set up on this campaign. So basically what I'm going to do is just show you the different examples of uh, like bid strategies with AdWords and then you decide which ones you want to use and I'll obviously guide you in the best uh, best case scenario that you should be in. So the first one, you can see you hover over and give you a little example, target CPA. So this sets bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. What that means is if you choose this, you tell Google, hey, I want, I want you to auto bid for me. I want to get leads at a cost of X. So you tell Google, hey, man, uh, I'm a roofing campaign. I want leads for 40 bucks. Google goes behind the scenes and does all the auto bids that every time someone searches a search term that you're bidding on, Google is going to auto bid to try and get you that target CPA that you're bidding on. Okay? Good strategy um, if you have a healthy budget to spend I would say like over a hundred dollars and you have a conversion history in the campaign so this is not good for brand new campaigns and my that's my opinion I would just stay away from it target return on ad spend kind of the same thing as CPA except a little different sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend so you actually set your target return on ad spend that you want to get and that's a percentage wise so you say you tell Google hey man I want I want to 50% return on my money or, or on my AdWords spend or 100% or whatever and it's going to go out and do the auto bid and try and get you that um, that return that you're looking for. I would stay away from this if you're new. It's it's more advanced stuff. Maximize clicks is a great strategy. We use it all the time. It, set, it sets bids to help you get the most clicks within your budget as it says right there. So basically you're telling Google, hey, I want you to just bid for me but you have to be careful with this bid strategy because you can get into trouble. What I mean by that is if you click on it, you see we're using it here, it gives you an option to set a maximum CPC bid limit. You have to do this, okay? Or else Google will bid $150 a keyword on some random freaking keywords and you'll spend all your money and be pissed off and then hate AdWords and never use it again, okay? So just make sure if you use any kind of auto bid strategy that we're talking about today that you always have a max CPC that you as your freaking ceiling. You will not go higher than that. That's your, your, so this $33, you're telling Google, I am not paying more than $33.62 a click, okay? Back into maximize conversions. Sets bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget. So again, you're letting Google decide what to bid to get you the most conversions. And how Google does that is they use your conversion history in the account, in the campaign, to see what drove the most leads to you. And they bid based on those histor like historical uh conversions so this this is a great bid strategy if you have an account that's had a shitload of conversions over the last like three four or five months um, and you have a good budget like I said if you're doing this kind of stuff it's always a hundred hundred a day I, I, my recommendation would be hundred a day just so you have enough runway for Google to get going target search page location sets bids to help you get your ads at the top of the page or on the first page of the search results so basically you're this is also it's an auto bid where Google, you can either choose to be in the top or the bottom of the or the top of the page or anywhere on the fir first page, which is the top or the bottom. And you could set up a percentage to increase bids. So say you want, say you want to bid, uh, you want to be in the top three spots somewhere. You would do this auto bid and then increase your, add a percentage on like uh, 15% plus 15% bid adjustment. To if you're telling Google, I want to pay an extra 15%, I want to be at the top. Target outranking share is basically something that you can go after your competitors with. So it sets bids to help you outrank in other domains ads. So <clears throat> if you have, like, a lot of lawyers do this stuff because they, they love the brand. They want to find their main competition and just always show their ads above the competition. So that's kind of it's basically what this is. 
I, I don't I wouldn't really mess with it if I were you. The only thing I should be worrying you should be worrying about right now is maximize clicks and manual CPC. Enhance CPC, adjust your manual bids up or down to help you increase conversions. So when you do manual CPC, you can tick a little box to do enhanced CPC. Help increase conversion of enhanced CPC. And then you hover over it, it gives you a bigger explanation of what it is. And um, it, it's just letting Google say, hey, uh, you know, Rob's doing a good job optimizing this campaign, but he could be doing a lot better with these four keywords. I'm going to increase the bids because I know they're going to get Rob more leads. Just kind of like something that you might overlook. Google's there, got your back, and they're going to, it's going to send you more leads pretty much. It's a good, it's a good thing to use. Okay. And then manual CPC, obviously you're flying stick. You're doing all the bids yourself. That can be tough um, if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, so that's pretty much a 30,000 foot view of the bidding strategies. You should be looking into maximize clicks and manual CPC with enhanced CPC enabled. That should be your go-to for right now. And um, so let me know if you guys have any questions of different bid strategies that you use or how something works in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up. Share it. I, uh, I love to you know, help as many people as I can with these bid strategies because Google is the people don't know what they're doing. They really don't. And you can lose a lot of money if you set up the wrong strategy. Like I said, with maximized clicks, I mean, you can, you can really spend a lot of money really fast. So make sure you follow exactly what I'm talking about. All right. And uh, check out the description links. There's one to our Facebook group, one to an ebook we have where uh, I'll show you how to optimize your AdWords campaign, five simple steps. Really, really cool stuff. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.